How's it going, everybody? Thanks for joining us. Uh, this is our retreat trio concert. I guess we're calling it the Retrio. Retrio. Maybe I should talk more loudly into this microphone. Yeah. Also known as Bones, Suds, and Harmony. Also known as Re Trio. Oh no, that uh, one got ni- uh, that one got uh, next, right? Yeah. So can can people can you hear me? Steve, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me talking. Okay, cool. So we're it's gonna be a short concert for you guys. It's gonna be informal. We're li- literally in a living room um, without shoes on. So uh, no shoes. <laughs> so that was perfectly coordinated. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first piece we're gonna start with is six trios, but we're just playing one of the trios. That uh, three different movements, I believe, of a piece by Giacomo Basevi Cervetto. Yeah, yeah. Our Italian speaker. She laughed. She laughed. I don't know what that means. So this is uh, by an Italian composer, obviously, who spent most of his life in England and uh, in the 18th century and composed uh, these pieces for three cellos. Um, We're going to play it on trombone. Uh, But it's it's music that we don't typically get to play a lot, uh, at least in this kind of style, so we've really enjoyed it.
How's the, how's the audio sound, people? Is it, is it any better or is it still peaking? Let Looks us like know in the chat. Sounds great, sounds great, sounds nice. Lots of nice sounds. Yes, awesome. Yes, yes. Great. Right. Okay, so um, we're moving on now to uh, box and plugins. Excuse you. Uh, so these were originally written for uh, JS Bach for piano and they're three part inventions. <coughs> Um, a lot of trombone play, a lot of instrumentalists play the two-part inventions arranged for trombones, or at least I know I have. Um, and Ralph Sauer took the liberty to arrange uh, four of the, I think there's 15 total symphonias, and he arranged four of them for three trombones. Um, Ralph Sauer, for those of you watching who don't know, he was the longtime principal trombonist of the LA Philharmonic. And he has contributed a lot, not only trombone playing, not only teaching wise, but music. He's written a lot of music, he's arranged a lot of music. Very important for our uh, craft. And I've been playing these symphonias for, oh, I don't know, 15 years, something like that. And I always really like, like them. Um, the four that we're doing, is we're gonna do kind of a, actually, I'm sorry, we're doing three. I kept saying four. The second one was really long, so it feels a solo bass drum. Yes, yeah. exactly. I thought I was going to have to so sight read we're, <laughs> we're doing the first symphonia, the ninth symphonia, and the thirteenth symphonia. The first symphonia is very bright, lots of moving, uh, fast notes, sixteenth notes throughout. And then the second one is a really slow, largo tempo, and it ha is a triple fugue, meaning if you imagine there's a subject, which is a melody, for this, this is all your music majors can tune out for this. There's a subject which is a melody, and usually you get that repeated in a different key, and they work together. Um, but now this is a triple fugue, meaning there are three different subjects moving together harmonically and against each other, with each other at all times. There's a slow moving quarter note fugue subject. There's a faster subject, and then an a da da da. You'll hear that, and you'll hear ba da da. Da -de -da. These are the these are two of the um, subjects, and then the the third one is the slow moving quarter notes. The last one we're doing is again a fast one with a, it's a lot of fat, fast moving notes. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's play some box and phonia. Cool, give me a beat back. <laughs> Thank you. 
so odd, as you can imagine, um, to perform with live human beings <laughs> for the first time. The last time I played with someone, um, God, it was March 12th, I think, uh, performance at the Metropolitan Opera. I can't even remember what I played. I think it was a, a bohème or something. Um, but all of a sudden, like for all of us, just gone, all of it. And so we're very, very happy to be playing with each other again. And um, it's always a pleasure to play with Brian and Sebastian. It's always a pleasure to be here in Michigan. Um, putting this together was obviously a feat with the online uh, aspect, but then figuring out if we could be together, like if we had been sick and we hadn't been, thank you, thankfully, and uh, thanks for, for testing. Um, so it's, it's been nice to have a very small sm skeleton crew here on the ground to work with us. It's been nice. All right, on to the next piece. I want to do my thanks out there, but the next piece um, is a really interesting piece. We, none of us knew this piece, or this composer. I didn't know this composer. Did you guys? Um, no. It, the composer is Albert Roussel, a French composer, mid-20th century. Uh, er, sorry, early 20th century, apologies. Um, this piece was uh, introduced to us by Taylor, a uh, friend of uh, Taylor and Sebastian's from Pittsburgh, uh, John Kaufman. He's a tubist in Pittsburgh, and he arranged this piece. It's a madrigal. Um, it's originally for, what, what? Thank you, Mom. Oh, I, I will. Okay. Um, uh, it's originally for uh, three female voices, not three individual, but three types of female voices, two soprano lines. What's going on? Uh, your mic was backwards. Your mic was backwards. <laughs> um, I, can, I, can, I can mention her before the last piece if you want to speak. Okay, yeah. Um, it was originally written for three female voice lines. So two soprano lines, one alto line. And um, obviously we are not playing soprano and alto instruments, but rather tenor and bass instruments. So it has been adjusted to a more appropriate tessitura for us. Um, but we've, we played it through and originally we, we it's not and that's so hard. It's uh, the musically, it's very interesting. And, and to make it interesting, you have to do a lot with it. So I think we were wondering, do we have time to make this uh, sing, I guess, to have it sound like a real piece of music and not just us playing notes. And then we start digging into it more and more and shaping it and realize that we all liked it quite a lot and that there's a lot to do. And it's one of those pieces I feel like if we could work on it, you know, for another week, we would find more to do. More and more, you can just keep unpacking things about this because it's, it, it's relatively simple, but there's within the simplicity is a lot of beauty. Um, Absolutely, and it, this this piece is arranged uh, by a friend of Taylor and I, John Kaufman, a very fine tuba player in Pittsburgh. If you had heard, I already said that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to stall because Brian is. Um, did you say you teach at the University of Akron? I don't know if you said that. No, we're just keeping it cash. Keeping it cash. All right. What's so, the name? Madrigal on Moose. I think I got close. It's a women's choir, right? It is. I already. Yeah. If you, if anyone had listened, I already said all this. <laughs> Your French is did beautiful. You, did, you, did you mention John Kaufman? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Albert Roussel. Apparently, he's a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. All right. So, like we said, short recital, and it's it's slowly becoming a tradition for some <laughs> reason. I would say quickly. <laughs> uh, quickly to play this piece called Fire Horse by Stephen Verhelst. Um, definitely a jump a little bit more modern from our, our previous pieces. Um, you may recognize this piece from our podcast. We, we use our segue music for the Trombone Retreat podcast um, that you can find anywhere you download your podcasts. Um, and it's a it's a fun piece. It, Stephen Verhelst uh, gave us permission to use it in the podcast and it's it's based on, it's a horse theme basically. So you have the first movement being moderato, the second- Trot. Oh, trot, my apologies. Moder moderato, as far as I know, is not an equestrian term. Um, the, the second movement is called walk. The last movement is called gallop. Um, so it's, I mean, it's, it's definitely a challenge, um, but there's a lot of beautiful music in this. Um, <clears throat> and I encourage you to check out his other works. He's, he's got a lot of great works. Um, yeah, he's a trombone player himself, Belgian trombone player. Uh, he wrote a lot of music for what's called the New Trombone Collective or various members of that group, uh, which is a, a, a Dutch-based trombone group um, full of fantastic trombone players. And so they've continued to commission music from for trombone choir, trombone trio, trombone duets, trombone solo, I mean, on and on and on. Um, so, yeah. Um Again, thanks so much for hanging out with us and uh, listening while we uh, put this on for everybody. It's, it's really important that we still found a way to bring the trombone retreat to everyone, and it means the world to us. Um, and the most important person to thank is, of course, is, is Sally Schwartz, uh, Nick's mother, um, who, Yay! who let us literally take over her living room. If, if you could see... The Schwartz annexation. If you could see what we've done in here, there, you can barely walk. Mm -hmm. um, so <clears throat> we really appreciate that, and you know, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we won't have to do it in the future. Um, there's a couple other people I'd like to thank real quick uh, while Brian's getting his stuff together. Uh, I'd like to thank the Dakes, Ann and Alan Dake. Um, they're going to let us take over their living room for one night tomorrow, and we're going to play on their beautiful piano. And I wish we could show the view that they have because it's a million dollar view for sure. It's overlooking the lake. So we're going to have a good time over there playing some uh, recital music, uh, solo recital music with Daniela. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to uh, thank uh, John and Linda Hilt who uh, have been generous supporters of the Tromona Retreat now for I think four years, three or four years. And um, we, they, they're benefactors of the arts here in the Muskegon area, the specific, specific, uh, specifically Muskegon and White Lake, which is where we are right now. For those who don't know, um, this area is a very special place, and uh, it has a great thriving arts scene uh, because of people like the Hilts. They, we need people like them in the world that support art, and they even support the trombone. So. Art, art adjacent at the bet at the very least <laughs> um, but we uh, we're very thankful for them and we feel very lucky to have them part of our family here and uh, so thank you so much for tuning in here's fire horse Thank you. 
Air high fives. Air high fives. Air high fives. <laughs> and we won't bow because then we'll be out of camera. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Um, check us out on TromboneRetreat.com or at Trombone Retreat anywhere on social media. Okay. Right. Well, Thanks, thank you guys. so much. Thank you so much, guys. All right.